Cancers, welcome to your heart spread. It's for the end of September time frame. Um, rarely, rarely do this. I think I'm up to 600 readings on YouTube, but I pulled that reading early in uh, that I was just trying to do for you, um, and it just didn't feel right. Uh, <laughs> very, very rare. So, I mean, I took some time and um, jumbled like crazy. Um, now I just saw the bottom of the deck's King of Pentacles, but I'm gonna have to to get rid of him. And um, I don't want to see the bottom of the deck till we're there. Usually in the heart spread, I don't count too heavily. I have been more recently. That's kind of what I'm getting to do. Um, but like I said, shoveled like crazy in Cancer's um, end of September period energy. Look at you and your person here. I get some advice on you and your person personally, and some advice for the relationship as a whole. I kind of look at it from a point of view of astrology as a sinistry connection. The first six cards of the last two is kind of looking at it like a composite connection. What's best for the couple? Uh, let's see what we get here. If I do uh, come out with signs, same for this reading, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus can apply in a love reading, typically. Mm. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Devil. Okay, so your opposite, uh, if it's uh, going to be Capricorn energy, um, but with this energy of you coming in, uh, I mean, you know yourself, you know what you're into, um, but the devil can be uh, like a plutonic energy in plutonic inter relationships. Um, Jewel at Aspects um, in Astrology has a really good video, I think, or a couple of them on plutonic relationships. That's what kind of comes to mind when it's in this position, you know. Um, and I try to read this a little separately from the relationship you're in and who's on your mind, so I kind of get a read where you're at, Cancers, and that way you can immediately say, well, that's, I'm not resonating with that, and just, you, you don't have to waste your time. But um, it could point to something going on in Capricorn, you know, for you. You got Pluto there that comes to mind. I think it's at um, 24. Still, I don't know, it doesn't move. <laughs> That's the problem. But suppose my move, and believe me, I know. I mean, it's be there for forever, you know. Because um, this could be more like per you, but it certainly would set you up for a flaming plutonic relationship, which is so odd. I get it. I mean, you know, I've been there. Um, but, you know, they're always about, um, you know, death and rebirth, too. Holy mackerel, with the high priestess. You may be pulling in a Pisces person. Wow. I just got to say this, this is not for everyone, but this could be someone manifesting cancer uh, with the dark arts, I'll call it, or I call it the left hand path um, energy. Um, casting spells, um, that kind of thing, uh, sacrificing goats, I don't know, <laughs> um, yeah, it's so strange why it comes to me as manifesting, it's kind of, kind of, I'm not, I'm not creeped out by it, it's just like, um, but it would almost be as if someone was in the deep throes of metamorphosis themselves, and out of that, you know, actually are manifesting their person, you know. Um, and this high priestess is, is just a beautiful person with this major kana. You know, they may be under this spell of a positive influence of Neptune. I think now it's at 22 degrees of um, Pisces. Um, all kinds of significant. And not always bad, you know, Neptune kind of gets a bad rap. I kind of think it deserves it. And oftentimes, I mean, but, you know, it's in trine, it's in sextile, something like that. Maybe you can jump something if it's well-placed in the natal, particularly Neptune and, and Pisces energy, particularly Neptune. Um, then this person becomes a high priestess, uh, very intuitive, maybe a healer, maybe an energy worker. 
But I definitely see the light in the dark here at Cancer. I kind of like it. It's kind of hot. <laughs> it's heavy. It's hot. It's like the dark and the light, you know. So uh, this person, um, you know, this is receptive energy, you know, to me. You know, this is 100% receptive, empathic energy absorbing. They're not projective. You know, this is this is the difference to me. This is the right-hand path, and that's me. I'm, I don't know judgment, but that's all I'm going to do. Very strict about that for myself. Uh, this is left-hand path, okay? Um, and, you know, it can be that's uh, more about the darkness. Um, and the high priest is more about the light. I mean, this is epic here. It's major arcana. So whatever is going on here, um, you may can make a movie out of it. But there's some soul business, I'll tell you that. Man, I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. The same car kind of freaking me out a little bit. There's two pinnacles came up twice in the other or came up in the other reading. Um, so once you're in the relationship with them, if you're shifting from the devil to the two of pinnacles, man, um, that is kind of like magic. You know, you got the I pointed star <laughs> just those. Um, because it's like this person coming to you with their white light energy is just all kind of balancing you out. And this is a very personal energy of using your, your own personal force, attention, time, effort, pinnacles, practical things. It's not just wishing something were. It's actually doing something, taking care of something, that kind of energy um, and that brings your life into balance. So. I just would say, like, it, it, it right there seems like their effect on you is all kind of healthy. Um, it's astounding, you know, but, you know, in high, if anybody's going to astound you, let it be the high priestess. Astound me, high priestess. I'm down. Wow. And as they come in, my God, man. Yeah, there's just sexual stuff going on. Man, were you playing them? <laughs> Cancer, <laughs> are you? It's like now that you're reacting them with this two of pentacles, it's like you're sort of like hiding the true passion. But there's got to okay. I'll tell you, you're hiding the the true passion, or you're just dampening it down in reaction to them. Uh, it, you know, I get the feeling it's probably you're probably aware of what's going on. I'm not saying it's nefarious, cross watcher. <laughs> I'm just kind of laughing because it's it's uh, it's so pronounced. You know, I mean, you don't go from the devil to the two pinnacles uh, just because of a person you know um, I would <laughs> you know um, unless they are like really religious you just were head over heels and all of a sudden you're like okay Jesus I'm here but I don't think so so king of wands now the reason I say passion you're making them feel hot <laughs> I mean really hot and um, they're the high priestess you know um, doesn't it's like a yes the high priestess can get wet apparently okay and you're uh, making them that way um and i i think you know what you're doing <laughs> you know i think you know what you're doing um yeah I like to say no judgment i don't like comment you know god i'd love to hear comments from anybody but i get this whole thing about it because my past life stuff i feel and um you know i don't want to I just don't want to open that karmic door again. So that's how I do it. Wow. Ten of Pentacles under the Ten of Two of Pentacles. And I was saying that's uh, the stability. So this is for you. You know, whatever you're doing is working. The ten of Pentacles, again, um, under, one of the most underrated cards in the deck, is absolutely perfect. And as this position of uh, it giving you advice in terms of your person, it's kind of saying, you know, invest in them strongly, you know, uh, ingress, invest in them, ground yourself in them, um, be serious about them. Um, I got to almost get the sense like, uh, you know, this too is saying to you, Cancer, it's like, uh, you know, you manifested this. This is what you wanted and it's the real deal. You know, what, what's, that's it, like, done. Let me kind of stop the reading here. But we'll push forward. Six of swords. They're going to have to leave something behind. Could be in the realm of thoughts here. I get the feeling for the high priestess, okay, 
I'm more likely to think in terms of this advice, this advice from spirit for them, if you're cross-watching, it's like you might have to physically leave something. It really is the mental card. And I also now get the feeling, um, Cancer, that it, it, however this works out, they will come to you. This is the candle flame deal. Clearly, you were the candle, <laughs> and they are the moth that will come to your flame, you know. Uh, or they are coming to your And spirit's all behind it. You got the Six of Swords giving them advice come to you. You got the Ten of Pentacles, uh, Cross Watcher, this Cancer will catch you. They got you. And you're going to be the strong one here uh, with your devil energy, your devil. <laughs> God loves, it's kind of like one of the best readings I've had lately. And a Page of Pentacles, I like that. So you're going to have this start together. Uh, this is advice for the relationship as a whole. And um, I think it's like, it too comes in mind with this page of pentacles more speaking to your person here cancer if you're cross watching um again told you they got you um and you know you you may your person uh, may you make them feel like the king of wands that's sexual self-esteem too you know it's a wonderful feeling it's the hormones flowing right you know but you know compared to you they may feel themselves like materially at a disadvantage so uh, what you're going to do, Cancer, if you do feel like you love them, and they are like a soulmate here, um, you want to, uh, in ever so much as you can, uh, reassure them and re help uh, in the way that, any way you can, uh, to lighten this feeling that they have, you know, uh, of not uh, somehow uh, being good enough. Uh, because Spirit here is saying to uh, just get to just make the start, you know, um, and, you know, get the mortar out and get the first brick done. That's what it is. Put the foot, first brick in the relationship in and get it going. Um, and the heck with those feelings. And what a wonderful outcome card, the chariot card here. Mm. Bottom of the deck is the page of cups. So uh, finally, well, the chariot's cancer, but we see the page of cups bringing them in a cup to this reading. Um, you know, I gotta say, for the outcome, I think I'll call this yin yang reading. Maybe I should write that down. I always forget yin yang because that's what I'm getting. Now I got a great picture for that in my picture file because you guys are balancing each other out. Um, and for your person, I think you can look at their journey to you. Uh, if you're cross-watching or share this with them, uh, look at it as a triumph of the soul. Uh, look at it as a victory in the biggest sense of the word. And here, you know, sailing through the stars, you know. Um, it's as somehow with this relationship, you guys are aligning your souls. I mean, you got soul work together, I told you. I tell you, without the devil and the high priestess, come on, baby. <laughs> That's some serious business together, you guys. Um, and it's all kinds of auspicious. You know, your relationship is, is going to be one that's uh, extremely um, high functioning. It's going to be at, at the, one of the highest levels, you know, uh, a mixture of this, you know, intellectual, emotional, spiritual. Spiritual is what I really want to get at, uh, nature of your relationship. But, I mean, it's going to be a lot of sex, too, so maybe tantric yoga. But I love it, guys. Thank you.